In today's video, we are going to be comparing two really, really good microphones, the Earthworks Icon and the Shure MV51. These are two USB mics that are on the market, and these are actually two of my favorite microphones that I like to use, but we're gonna put these two microphones in the test in today's video, stick around. What I love about these microphones is that they're really, really easy to use. All you gotta do is just plug in a USB cable into the microphone and into the computer, and that's pretty much it. There's not much else going on here with these two USB microphones. And that is part of the reason why I wanted to create this video because these are, in my opinion, two one are one of the best USB microphones that you can get on the market. So for the Shure mic, you have this stand, you know, and you can kind of put it onto the side. You could also put it on your desk. That's also a very cool option. However, it does not come with a stand like Earthworks Audio does. And you could also adjust the, the angle of the mic with this ball over here. And all you gotta do is twist this knob to loosen the ball, adjust the height, and then you know tighten it up for your desired uh, angle. Another thing that both of these microphones have going for them is that you can have, um, you know, you could adjust the gain on both mics. This is with a touch on the Shure MV51. And with the Earthworks Audio, you have this knob. Personally, I don't mind both of them. You know, they work really well. There, there's a lot of functionality and there's a lot of flexibility in how you want to increase the gain or decrease the gain on both mics. But how do they compare to with each other? And what are the sound qualities like when you're using it with your voice, such as podcasting or with an instrument, such as me, I'm a violinist. So I'm gonna be demonstrating uh, some different sound uh, qualities of these two microphones. Let's start with the Shure MV51. This microphone I've been using for a few years now. I've been using it for my podcasts as well as uh, some violin projects that I've been doing on social media. Now, what I like about this mic is that it has different functions for different purposes. So if I wanna do podcasting, then it has a special uh, function that I just tap and I go ahead and I use the podcasting form. If I want to use the music, if I want to record audio like from a speaker, I can do that. If I want to do uh, like an instrument, like a guitar or violin, that's also available to you. I like the flexibility of this. And what's great about this Shure MV51 is that there is also an app that you can plug straight into your smartphone. And also you can plug it into your laptop or your iPad uh, it's a very flexible microphone. So this is the microphone that I'm using right now. It's recording my speech. Um, how's it sound? I'm having the microphone a little bit to the side and it's normally in front of me when I'm podcasting. So this is what it sounds like when I'm podcasting in the front. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm using the audio from the Earthworks Icon USB mic. I did a video on this, so I'm not gonna get too into detail in this video, but if you wanna take a look at this video, of the Earthworks Audio Icon. I'm gonna leave a link right up here. So I've been playing around with this Earthworks Icon for a few days now, and you know I've been making videos on it, and I've been really enjoying the sound quality of this microphone. As I mentioned in the other video, one of the downsides of this Earthworks Audio Icon is that it comes with this very small stand. And I like to have the microphones a little closer to my mouth, so that way, audiences can get the clearest audio from me. If you're one of the people who is watching this video trying to decide whether or not you should get this mic or the Shure MV51, please note that there is a little bit of a downside when having this small stand. However, the Shure MV51, I believe doesn't even come with a stand. So you have to, um, you know, choose, choose your poison. Either you want one with a small stand or you don't want uh, a stand that comes with the mic. So this is the sound of the icon. I'm not using any gain. I'm not using any um, sort of effects on the microphone. This is the most natural flat voice. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. Now that we got the voice test out of the way, let's go ahead and use both mics and what it sounds like in its string setting. So here we go. the short MV51 mic. Let's see how it sounds with the violin. So 
So what do you think of the two sounds of the Shrem V51 and the Earthworks Audio Icon? These are really good mics. I think you really can't go wrong with either one of them depending on your needs. In the box, both of these microphones come with cables to help you connect to your smartphone or to your computer. These two microphones are very easy to use. Question of the day, which microphone do you think sounds best? That is the conversation that is burning up inside me because these are really good mics and I don't know which one I'm gonna be using as my main mic. I might even use them interchangeably for various reasons and for various, uh, various situations. So let me know in the comment section down below. Which one do you think is the better sounding mic? Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button so that way more people like you can get access to this video on YouTube. And my name is Eric, I'm a violinist, and I do a lot of product reviews. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It helps me out and it helps out the channel to provide more good videos for you. And if you're interested about learning more about these two mics on uh, on an individual basis. I'm gonna leave some videos over here and right over here for you to take a look at. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.